What is good guys, back more smoke on snake draft, this time a French match here between Cory and Wellu or Wella OU, however you want to pronounce it. It's gonna be Spadef Drill, knowing Cory, the set with Rapid Spin, Toxic Earthquake and Rocks, Zemo Ball Corona, Bulky Celesteela, um, I could see this being Defog as well, so Double Hazard removal for Volcarona, which is 4 times weak to Rocks, Megalopunny and Clefable. Uh, Clefable is most likely gonna be a common variant, since I assume Rocks are gonna be on this, on Wellu's side most likely. A Scarf Landris, a Mega Alakazam, most likely a Bandit Tyranitar, uh, Rocks on the Clefable, that, so that means it's it's really good for Cory actually if Clef is the Rocker, which it looks to be the Rocker at Team Preview, because Excrewal can keep off Rocks versus Clef pretty much the entire game. Then the Magnezone could be Choice Scarf or it could be Z-Move, we'll have to see that. Uh, most likely a bulky type of Bulu, if Zone is not Z-Move then Bulu could also be the Z-Move user and a Mega Alakazam. So we see a Finny versus Boo, um, land the lead. I assume he's just gonna U-turn out here. Into he could go into Alakazam if he doesn't run if he doesn't want to risk this having like Scald, he could go into Alakazam, which doesn't care about a potential burn. Because if he goes Bulu and changes up the terrain, he can potentially get burned by Scald. Also, if Cory doesn't have Scald here, he might just go for Nature's Madness. But the reason I think this might have Scald is because this looks like it's one of his um, trend checks, or like potentially this monk can potentially switch in the heat run like once or twice. So it would make sense on this to have a water move. And Scald can still burn once in the air, and um, Budo does also change up the terrain, so it makes sense um, to run Scald on Finny as he does have it and he does get the burn. So now um, I think Cory can just go into Excadrill or Clefable here. Uh, he doesn't want to go into Celesteela because, well, you could potentially double into Magnezone and catch the Celesteela. So I think either the Exca or the Clef is going to come out and I, get, I don't know what Wally wants to do here. I think he's going to pull some sort of double. Because if he stays in here, he like, kind of loses momentum because a burnt Bulu is not going to do that much damage. So he doubles into Alakazam there. Uh, maybe anticipating the Clef. I'm actually not 100% sure. I mean, Zam would have also been fine to come in on Finny, but it was unlikely that Cory was going to stay in there. Now, if Cory doesn't want to take a Focus Blast, he, well, maybe he bricked the drill as well and he just wants to Focus Blast it. Uh, Cory might not want to take a Focus Blast here and switch out. Uh, his only Focus Blast resists are, um, well, Finny doesn't really want to come in because if Alakazam has recovered, Finny doesn't beat it that well. Because I think Moonblast from Finny does a little bit less than half. And Nature's Madness only does half, so if Alakazam has recovered, it always beats Finny. So he goes into Celis, uh, breaking a Focus Blast as he does dodge. So now uh, Wellu is going to switch out here. Cory is either going to Flamethrower because he doesn't want to let the Magnezone in for free. Or he's going to pull a double here. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think Wellu is going to go hard into Magnezone though. And uh, take a Flamethrower to the face or a Leech Seed. I think Flamethrower Leech Seed is an option here for Cory or doubling. Uh, double into Volcarona is also option predicting the Clef, but he has to be careful. He has to scout for the Clefable being T Whip as well because, um, like, Volcarona is a big threat to Wellius team. Um, if that's not AV Tita, if that's just Bandit Tita, uh, Volcarona kind of destroys him. So I could definitely see um, him having Edge on Bulu or T Wave on Clef or some sort of lure for Volcarona because otherwise Volcarona just destroys him if it sets up on either Clef. It can also set up on Magnezone or Bulu if it doesn't have a rock move, like I said. Uh, so Cory could, like I said, leech sheet or flamethrower or pull a double, maybe into Volcarona, maybe into Excadrill. Excadrill would be also a good double here because it covers the Magnezone and it could just get up rocks. Like Excadrill pretty much covers most options here. I don't think Value is going to go Lando. Well, Lando is also an option just to get the Intimidate and you turn out after. But I still don't think he's going to make that play. Um, Cory has used Earthquake Celesteela like in tournaments last weeks but grassy terrain is up at the moment so i th and like i said he doesn't want to take a flamethrower but even if it has earthquake which i don't think it has terrain would be up but you still don't want to go into magnezone is what i'm trying to say i still think you want to go into something else here like you can go lando i guess to get the intimidate and then you turn after or you can maybe go into clef because it's really unlikely that he's going to go for heavy slam here but like i said it's look it looks like clef is the rocker and it looks like Cory can always keep rocks off with the drills. So it does go hard into Magnezone, which I didn't think he would do. But yeah, Cory makes a good double there. I mean, he was either going to Flamethrower or Leech Sheet. He wasn't going to let the Magnezone come out for free. Or he was going to double out into either Volcarona or Excadrill. And now Cory can just get his rocks up here. 
if he doesn't have rocks, um, I think Wellyu is going to switch out into his Lando here. So I guess if Cory doesn't have rocks, he can also go for Toxic or Iron Head. But I assume this is the Dev set that Cory always uses. Like he has used this quite a lot. Spadef um, with leftovers of quick toxic rapid spin and rocks. I've already talked about the set at preview. So he goes in the Landris. I think we just see the rocks go up exactly. So it is probably the same set. Now Wellyu is going to U-turn here to get momentum. Uh, Cory can go into his Clefable or Tapu Fini. I don't think he wants to go into the Celesteela because then he can get trapped by the um, Magnezone. So he just just defog instead of U-turn. So this is his only yeah this is his only potential defogger, but yeah that makes sense as well. Now well he has to switch out here. Um, Cory could either throw off a Moonblast. Like well he's either gonna go into his zone into his own clef, or um, Alakazam is also an option. So potential play here is double back into Excadrill because it covers the zone and the clef. It doesn't cover the Zem that well, because Focus Blast would do a lot, but it kind of covers Zem. Like, it definitely covers clef and zone, so Excadrill is a potential double here for Cory. Moonblast is also a potential play, and like I said, this is most likely a common clef, uh, because rocks are on the Excadrill. So it could be um, Call Mind, Soft Blood, Moonblast, and then either a coverage move on the Clef, or it could be T-Wave. Because it looks like Cory doesn't have a Scarf on his team. Well, I don't think it's going to be T-Wave, actually. But he does just reveal to be Calm Mind. Now, this is most likely Bandit, and Wellio is just going to fire off a Stone Edge, because that's the best move Banta usually runs to hit Clefable with. Uh, if he's not Bandit going Tita, there was a weird play. Uh, then I think he should have maybe gone into Zone. Maybe, I think he might try to make a mid-ground. If his Tita is like super fast and outspeeds Excadrill, oh, he does crit and Clef goes down. So now Cory knows that it's Bandit guaranteed, and he can go in those Excadrill and get the rocks back up. Um, that's annoying for Cory, but the game is obviously not over just yet. Well, Corona is still a huge threat. So Drill is just going to get the rocks up here. Well, he's going to switch out. I guess he can technically go into Clef because it can take off quicks from Drill, and this Drill usually doesn't run Iron Head. Uh, he can also go into his Landris again like he did earlier, as he does just go back into Landris. I assume we see the rocks go up, yeah. And now, um, Cory doesn't want to stay in here and risk his drill. He can go into Tapu Fini or into his Magnezone. Like, Magnezone, not Magnezone. <laughs> he can go into Tapu Fini or into Celesteela, my bad. But like I said earlier, uh, if he goes Steela on a U-turn, then he get trapped by the zone. So it makes sense that he goes Fini instead. Now, the Bulu is burned, so like going Bulu here doesn't really get you that much. Magnezone here is a potential play because it doesn't take much from rocks and can threaten out the Tapu Fini here. Um, I could actually see Cory potentially staying in. Um, I don't. Well, he kind of doesn't want to stay in here because as long as the zone is around, he doesn't want to go Stila on Lando's U turn because then he can get trapped after. So he wants the Fini around to check the Scarf Lando as well. Um, but it's pretty obvious that the X is in the back. So does he predict that? He does predict that. Yeah, that's why I said he could have potentially. That's why I wanted to say he could have potentially stayed in with the Tapu Fini because. Um, he's not going to T-Build into the Excadrill, and as you guys can see, HP Fire doesn't do too, too much. And now, Wellyu is going to switch out here. Uh, Cory cannot cannot double out because he's trapped in, so he could only Earthquake there. And yeah, like I said earlier, Clef can technically wall this because it's Earthquake, Toxic, Rabbit, Spin, Rocks. But Wellyu's Clef can't really do anything back to the Drill, so he just Earthquakes a bit, um, because that way he gets some extra leftovers in the Drill. Yeah, this is completely fine for Cory. Now he can just rapid spin, like I said. If it's Rocks Clef, Drill always keeps them off, which is amazing for the Volcarona. Um, nice win condition in the back. And now he. Does he double out or does he just Earthquake again? He does just Earthquake and well, he goes Landris. So he's either gonna defog here or U turn again. And we're gonna see the Finny come out, I think. Celesteela is also a potential play if you predict the Earthquake, but Finny would be safer in case uh, he U turns into zone. Um, but you could definitely also go into Celesteela because Earthquake or Defog are also potential plays for Wellyu here. I mean, Wellyu has Zam and a Scarf Lando, but like I explained earlier, his team is quite weak to Volk anyway. So like, he has some speed control, but he's still weak to Volk. Uh, since the Tita revealed to be banned, it's obviously not AV. That was kind of obviously a team preview already, but I'm pretty sure that the Clef is has to be T-Wave or the Bulu has to be Edge or something for like he has to be, have some lure for Volcarona because otherwise he just loses to death and Volk is like a mon especially in tours that you kind of want some lure for I feel like you don't want to just lose to Volcarona so he just got the play correct there predicts him uh, well he predicts him to go on the Finny or the Stain and just Earthquakes Cory goes on the Celesteela 
Um, yeah, also earlier I said that he doesn't want to go hard into zone on the Steeler, but to be fair, he doesn't really have other switch-ins to this either. <laughs> like, obviously Lando could have came out earlier. So let's go Bulo there, predicting a Leech Seed. Does he go for Flamethrower? It was hard for Heavy Slam, actually. Um, maybe predicting him to go into Clef or Bulu predicting a Leech Seed to come out. Uh, well, he got up the terrain. Now he might want to save this. No, no, I think he's fine with sacking this. Because if he sacks this... Well, uh, Cory might also be fine with staying in here. And killing the Bulu with Flamethrower. Uh, does he Flamethrower here? Which makes sense because it would kill the Bulu. No, he doubles out into low pony. That's also a really good play. Like, if you stay in and... Yeah, like, well, you didn't want to stay in to sack the Bulu because... Then Cory could have gotten a spit death boost with the Celesteela, and then he could have potentially beaten the zone with the Celesteela if the zone is Scarf. But yeah, now obviously Lopani outspeeds even Scarf zone, so even if he's Scarf, he's forced out here into Clefable. Um, so Cory can double into his... I guess he can double into his Volcarona, but then he still has to scout for T-Wave. He can also just attack, uh, but I don't think attacking gets you that much. If he has Encore on this low pony, I guess he can attack into the Clef and then Encore the Clef into Softball. That could be cool for Cory. Um, but otherwise, he can double here into either the Excadrill or the Volcarona. So he does double into the Volcarona, anticipating the Clef to come out. Um, yeah, I mean, Clef was at full and Grassy Terrain was up, so left was Grassy Terrain would have kept it healthy. So does he have T Wave to lure the Volk? He does have T Wave, and Cory just just set up. Um, now, Cory is just going to attack. There's no point setting up again, because even if you Quivalence again. Um, he is T-Wave, which means Scarf Landris will still outspeed him. Uh, even though I think the Landris doesn't have Edge on his team, it's probably Earthquake, U-Turn, Defog, HP, Ice Landris. Well, it might it might have Edge. I'm not sure. He has two fairies that can check Zygarde. But like Zygarde behind screens, or if it's like Coil, can still beat Bulu. And like behind screens, it can also beat Clef with the Berry. So I think he also wants HP, Ice on Landris to have... Um, some Intimidate uh, action versus Zygarde and to have some other way to hit that monster. He goes hard into Tita. I assume Cory just went for yeah, a Fire Step, like Fire Blast. He has Flamethrower actually. Um, obviously the um, Grassy Terrain helps Cory out. And now he's just gonna go Bug Buzz here because Bug Buzz definitely kills after Rocks and after Flamethrower chip damage. Because um, this is an offensive Tita obviously as we already could tell from the damage and obviously also kind of obvious from team preview so bug Buzz should kill even without um wasting the z move like he can keep the z move for later uh, even though he doesn't really need the z move for anything i don't think he needs the z move for anything because zam dies to bug Buzz, bulu is low zone dies to flamethrower uh clef probably gets twit kill from flamethrower lander dies to flamethrower and tita should die to regular bug Buzz. so he could technically z if he has it if he's Buxy, what other Z would you be? Like, Psychium Z is an option, but I don't think he is Psychium Z because he has Misty Terrain on Finny, plus he has an Excadrill. So, like, Toxapex is not a big deal for him. Because um, Drill can actually take Skulls from Pex quite easy, and a Misty Terrain it can't get burned. And so, like, he can threaten out Pex a lot. Uh, the thing is, if the opponent has a Pex and your Volk is not Z Psychic, then, um, like, even if you have monster, he's just bug button, he does not get fully paralyzed, and he did outspeed at plus one because T Wave got nerfed, right? The T Wave nerf is really good for Cory here. Like, in that sense, it wasn't even too bad for him that he got T that he got parrot because um, the paralysis did get nerfed. So now Cory might just stay in because honestly, um, I don't think he's setting up again that easily since he's parrot now. No, oh, okay, okay, he just switches out on the Fini. So does he Earthquake or does he Edge? Okay, he switches out on the Fini, predicting an Edge, but well, he does have Earthquake. Okay, well, I did say he's not setting up that easily again, but he can still set up on the Clefable. And on what else can he set up? I guess he can set up on the Bulu and also on the on the Magnezone. So yeah, I take that back, my bad. And he does get crit there, which is annoying for him. Uh, I assume he went for either Scald or Nature's Madness. Uh, Skull would have done good damage on the Landru. Landrus could have also potentially gotten burned because it's in the air, which means it's not affected by Misty Terrain. But yeah, and now... He's just gonna go for Return here. Clefable is really obvious. He can also pull a double. This is just Frustration. Frustration Return, same thing. So now, um, we're most likely gonna see a soft build here from Wellu. So he goes back into Volcarona. And I think he's just gonna click Flamethrower here. There's not really a point in setting up. Well, it's this, this clef is not this clef doesn't have CM. It's just rocks, softball, T wave, moonblast. So you can just hard flamethrower, yeah. Oh, he does quiver instead. Okay, I thought he would be fine just attacking. So rocks go up. 
Now you can just click flamethrower. Well, uh, well, you select the bullet which does to rocks. If you predict that the quiver again, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference because Scarflander still outspeeds it. Uh, but I don't think the Scarflander actually has edge because um, he did not go for edge early. He went for earthquake when Cory switched onto the Finny. So now um, earthquake actually doesn't even kill the Volcarona. So if Cory doesn't get paralyzed here, like if he doesn't want to risk it, he can also go into Celesteela because well, he was forced to earthquake here. I feel. But he might just stay in because he can obviously live off quick here. From Scarflanders. But what was I gonna say earlier? I wonder what the low bunny's other moves are. Frustration is obvious, right? And then high jump kick, and then it's interesting. It would if it would have fake out plus encore, if it would have fake out plus power up punch, or also like healing, which would be really cool if it's that. Because that can bring back like a weakened Finny or Volcarona as a win condition. Oh, Clefable actually also gets Healing Wish. Um, I've used that on a really fun team with Didi Mega Tita that my friend Eclipse made. That was super fun. Set up with Tita, um, play your Tita recklessly, and when it gets chipped down low, the opponent thinks it's dead. You switch it out at 10%, and then you Healing Wish it back with Clefable. That was so fun, that team. Uh, I, wish there were more, I wish there were more good Healing Wish users in OU. So that's just Earthquake. I assume we see Flamethrower here. No Parasol, Landris goes down. And now he has to go into like Alakazam. Because uh, Magnezone and Clef both lose to the Volcarona, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, we st I still don't know if the Magnezone is Choice Scarf or if it's Z move because he didn't really uh, he didn't really reveal anything yet. So Zam is gonna go for Psychic here. Cory can either go Celesteela or he can go Excadrill. If he goes Excadrill, he might die to Psychic into Focus Blast. I think he I think he might actually barely live it if he's max for death. Uh, I think Cory usually runs some speed on his Excadrill if they're not max for death. Yeah, I don't know the cult on that. Let me I don't have the cult open, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cult in time. But I'm pretty sure he's Well Vulcan still do something, like if he spins, but I'm not sure. He might also just sack it. Kinda depends if he has healing wish on Clef or Lopani. Well, Clef is dead, so now he would be, have to be on Lopan. But yeah, let me call Excadrill. There's no uh, Spadev Excadrill in the call. So he might just go Celesteela then, as he does go Celes, yeah. Alakazam goes for Psychic, doesn't do that much. And now I think you go for Leech Seed or Flamethrower here. And yeah, I don't know if Welly wants to go Hard Zone, like I said, but. Hmm. Let's say let's just say Zone can potentially trap this Celestia for well you then Alakazam can definitely win this game for him if he hits a focus blast on the Excadrillia. So he does go Clef breaking Leech Sheet or Flamethrower, he didn't want to go hard zone. Um, I'm gonna call it real quick, Spadef Excadrill. I think it's like 232 Spadef makes HP something along those lines. Maybe a little bit less in both. But yeah, but the Clef can like threaten this with a T-Wave. Um, so Cory's free, yeah, Excadrill cannot get affected by anything, so what does he go for? Does he double out? Um, yeah, I mean, he doesn't even have a good double, because I'm pretty sure if he doubled into Zam there, the Excadrill would not have died. So he does just go for Rapid Spin, so that way his Volcarona is still around. And now he's just gonna spam Earthquake, and Dwellio has, like, no switch-ins, and Cory just gets some leftovers, because Moomblast, like, barely does more to Excadrill than leftovers. Like, leftovers get, like, half of the uh, Moomblast damage back that Drill takes. Yeah, let me make the drill careful. I mean, Clef walls the drill, but drill also walls the Clef, so they're just chilling here, attacking each other. Um, obviously, eventually, Cory's gonna have to switch, I think, because uh, 16 soft bolts was a 16 earthquake, and earthquake is only doing 35. So, in the long run, Excadrill doesn't beat this, so he's switching to Celestia just now, uh, now already, and now um, he's gonna either heavy flame or flamethrower here. Uh, well, you might stay in for a bit and try to get the Magnezone in on a Heavy Slam. Or he might sack the Clef to go into zone after to ha not let the um, zone take a fire or move or leech seed. But yeah, I'm gonna cut now. So Focus Blast from Zem, how much would that have done? To a Spadef. It would have done 70, it does 74 to 87 to Spadef. So it does just sack the Clef. Uh, but yeah, now Cory gets a Spadef boost, which means he can take T-Bolt from Magnezone. Uh, so I don't know how do you... Does he beat it by spamming Flamethrower or does he have to Leech Seed is my question here. I'm not 100% sure about that. 
Um, it kind of also depends if this is Scarf or if it's Z-Move, because if it's Z-Move zone, it could also have Sub. Yeah, exactly. There it has Sub. And he goes for Leech Heat, and the miss doesn't matter because it obviously would not have affected the zone because it went for Sub. So now Cory, um, I guess he can go for Protect to get some more leftovers back. And then the next turn, he's going to have to take a T-Bolt. Um, him being Sub pretty much reveals or confirms that he's Z-Move zone. So I think he's just going to Flamethrower here. Uh, he, he didn't protect on... He could have protected last turn, but it doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, now he's just gonna keep flamethrowing. Let's yeah, he has to keep flamethrow again because he doesn't want this to get a sub up. Mm. And yeah, with Zo with this being down, um, well, he still has a slight chance depending on if Excadrill is in range of Focus Blast. So Low Bunny comes out and reveals Healing Wish, so that changes things obviously because now Volcarona comes back. Volcarona just quiver dances and wins the game as long as it doesn't get T-Bolt, Paraful, Parrot. But yeah, Gigavolt Havoc was able to break Celesteela through the Spadef boost. And Flamethrower just killed and... Oh yeah, he didn't even have to quiver dance, yeah. Never mind, he made the correct play, I take that back. Because hard attacking, now he can just Bug Buzz um, to, to secure the win. He might also Z-move, but he doesn't have to because regular Bug Buzz also kills. Turns out to be Z-Bug Buzz, kills the Zam. Cory takes the win home. I'm not actually sure which team he's on, but I will put the team sum, the teams in the thumbnail, the logos, as always. And um, what's, I think that was a good narration on my end. I just messed up twice. Um, what's it called? Yeah, like earlier when I said Cory's Volcarona, he could have sacked it because it doesn't do that much. And but then I explained afterwards, Volcarona is still valuable. It sets up on um, Zone Clef and Bulu, and obviously hard flame throwing. That way you don't risk the Magna Zone. Um, Powering your Volcarona because you always obviously outspeed the zone since they revealed Z move and it's not Scarf. And then Alakazam couldn't Oko the Volk, so you guys could see it at 48. So even with a crit, the Volcarona would have lifted any hit from the Zam. So Cory made the correct plays, that way he cannot get hexed out of the game. And yeah, his team was his team was interesting. Healing Wish is a really cool tech into Volcarona. Like I said earlier, I just wish there were more good Healing Wish users. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will be back with more tournament coverage later. Um, I still have to upload my man's insult game, my man insults games from old T because yeah he's waiting for them. I promised him to upload them, so you're gonna expect that probably later tonight. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day and peace out, friends.